Welcome back to the channel. Captain Steve Pope here with Firefighter Golf. I'm out here at Shadow Glen Golf Club with Parker, Patrick, and Captain Brian you've seen on the channel before. Gonna showcase this golf course. Also gonna be networking for the foundation. So thanks to Parker for having me out and uh, we're getting some networking done. See what we can do to help first responders more and more. So anyway, thanks for watching these videos. Happy to showcase this golf course. Been wanting to get it on the channel. It's a beautiful layout, Tom Watson design. So love y'all, stay self-aware. All right, hole number one here at Shadow Glen. It's a par four, one more. The tees are about all 343 yards. We're playing from the green tees today. I'll get you a yardage for the whole course. The only tip that's uh, yeah. in, in my world is the tip I give my wife every day. Whoa, 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 we're on film here. I'm not editing that out. That that go viral. I think you need the camera on you. You just shined. Good ball. Uh, the Maybe not. Maybe not. Still a good shot. No hit the driver. Nice. No competition. Good kick. Nice numbers bounce there. Hey, I'd say. Wow. I've played here once or twice. Wow. <laughs> First tee. Get another one. I'm going to make a big part from that. It's the new PXGs. Is that, your, is that the PXGs? I brought them, but this is not. Oh, okay. You're good. This is one shot. That's not good. Hey, good kick left. Nice, good. Yeah, I'd switch carts. <laughs> yeah, you guys. Hey, you know what? You is that the putting green didn't seem as fast as normal, but I bet you out here they are. Well, just wait till it warms up. I'm gonna go up there and drop you off. Copy. And then. Uh... All right, so I got a good break. Hit one of these trees, and here's the look I have. You know, the branches are hanging, but I'll, I think I'll keep it below that, getting into this pin here. Looks like it's up front, so. All right, I got about 139. Gonna have to put this in the back of the stance and slide it down because of these branches. <clears throat> All right, hit it, let's spin. All right, I got up here pin high with that skinny nine. So I'm debating whether I'm gonna putt or chip this. So we'll see. That was the good old tree save. <laughs> good ball, bro. Thank you. Nice. You want to play a little cart two-man best ball? Let's do it. Okay. Ten dollars and nine. Well, handicaps. Huh? You're welcome. Yeah. My man's coming out striping it. 
It's their home course, you feel comfy. <laughs> There you go, hard. Sure, absolutely. I will. And then uh, he'll report back to me, and after that, uh, I can give you a shout. So. Sure. All right, we got about 215 to this par 5 green. Hit it kind of thin. It'll be all right over there. It's good. Dang it. I was debating with these wind conditions whether to hit the four hybrid, so, you know, you got to choose the right club and get confident over it. All right, here's what I got down this slope. Got Brian and Patrick right here. Ball's right there by Parker. Chubby little bit. Spanish hands. That is sexy as Good shot. Parker for his birdie. All right, good par, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Want to hear that sound? Yep, I like that sound too. Thank you. about 250 to that bunker on the right. The inside of that was my target line, not the right side. <clears throat> yeah, he's been hitting it further, even at 59 years old. <laughs> Gosh, I need a tree to throw it out again. I think it might have, but I'll hit another one after Patrick. It might have trickled right for me. There you go, Patrick. Good ball. There we go. Release the hands. Release the hounds. Nice. All right, we found the firefighter golf ball there. It's out of bounds, so I got to play my second ball. Good shot. This baby's sitting down here, folks. Thank you. All right, folks, just the putt for bogey here. They're not that fast. <laughs> There's more break there than I see. You, gonna, you got that for me now? Here's how we make this putt, folks. Yes, that's a caddy for you. <laughs> All right, folks, that was ugly. Triple bogey. Uh, I had help with the flag just to make the seven. Or the, that was a fake six, but anyway, fun times out here at the fellas. Uh, they even stole my 58 degree wedge that I left on one of the holes, so that's fun. I love them, love them, love them all. All right, at least I birdied two. Ha <laughs> ha!
Beautiful golf hole here, folks, par three. That pin's in a good, fun location, Parker's saying. 25. So that would be the right club. So you're saying, from your experience? Yes. With your experience and out even on the tour with the LPGA ladies, off the tees five yards more? Yes. Good bit of knowledge to know, folks. At least, at least when they test it out, they usually say, okay, off of the tee is this yardage and off of the ground is. Okay, good to know. We're gonna test your theory right here. It's not a theory, they're stats. Well, now, can... the Pythagorean theory, yeah. <laughs> I can't even say that word. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Oh, Come down, look at this guy, he's gonna get a huge break. Oh my gosh. Off the front of the green. Stop. Not bad. I'll take that miss right now, shamble. Guy hits it. Wait a minute. Ah, I've done that Parker, the last four times with this guy. Parker's tee ball. I didn't get it on film, but look where we're at. And he complained about it when yeah. he left the tee. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a bad day to play golf. Good day to be alive. Yeah, no kidding. Good shot there, Parker. Uh, I'm debating where I'm going to put it. I'll probably have to go right at you, right, Brian? Just your initial read. Um, yeah. Okay. I'm reading. Ah, I put the Brian... Put the Brian Taylor hammer hands. The Brian hammer hands in it. Hey, it turned out better than I thought. That's what I did all day, yes. All day Tuesday. Here's your view looking back up to the tee box. Good job, bird. We made this hole look easy. All right, good up and down there. Good birdie by Parker and uh, pars by the other boys. Par five, hard dog leg right. The green's gonna be way over there beyond those trees. A little left of what we wanted, but. You know, a good partner golf right there. I'm well left in that area. Okay. All right, here in the cart with me is Parker Whitney. He contacted me through Patrick, you see in the video, to network with the Folds of Honor Kansas City chapter. Is that correct? Yep. And yep. Uh, so you played some college football. You, you ended up at K-State, but where did you start? Ended up at K-State, uh, played at Butler Community College, which a couple of the Chiefs players and some other guys are out there in the NFL still from Butler, big names. Uh, played at Butler, then Abilene Christian for a second Okay. in Texas, and then played a little bit at K-State there and got my uh, horticulture landscape design degree from K-State. So, and that's what you're, you're doing now with, that, with your company. Correct. I own a, own a company and we specialize in landscape construction and it's one of my biggest passions besides golf and football. So let me to where I'm at, where I'm at today. Yeah, good car partners. What made you want to contact me for the foundation uh, to, to network? Well, you know, with Folds of Honor last last uh, last fall, we, we we opened up to first responders, and I want to I want to get more involved in the first responder community as well. And um, you know, I saw your page on on Instagram and through Patrick, and um, I was like, I got to meet this guy because what you're doing is is amazing. It's kind of more or less the same mission as Folds of Honor, and uh, I thought, you know, these two eventually could could become something, um, and and your foundation could could get just as biggest folds of honor someday so well that's the hope so i yeah. appreciate you contacting me having me out here at your club we had him out the falcon lakes uh last week so it's good to stay connected like this and uh, we have some things planned yep. to network together yep. and uh, hopefully we can help both missions absolutely continue to grow and if you're absolutely. not familiar with folds of honor they give scholarships to deceased first responders and military yep. um and so as if you're not aware what the first responder golf foundation does we're trying to help our first responders while they're still here yep and 
better family, do their job better, as well as um, enjoy life. I mean, because the stress puts you in a dark place. Absolutely. So, all Absolutely. right. Thanks for having me out. Absolutely. Love you. I love you too. All right. My ball's there in the bunker. Just going to lay up with this pitching wedge. to that bunker there. All right, 109, I got a 50 degree into this wind. Get over that bunker. Got a break. Not good, got a good break, not in that bunker. All right, avoided that bunker. Get a little thin shot like I did on the previous part three. Well, that's what I got looking in. Thank you. All right, all right. Thank you. Two in a row? Two in a row. I think you need this camera all the time. You need me to come follow you around? Please do. Even on your job sites and we can showcase your work. I would love that. <laughs> I would absolutely love that. My guys would love that more than I would. All right, boys, that cart, let's get it going. <laughs> What's going on there, guys? <laughs> He's not saying anything. I'm not talking to you. <laughs> He's mad. Thanks for getting my 58, though, guys. You guys are the greatest. I love you both. Hole seven, I think it's one of the hardest drives on the golf course, but beautiful golf hole nonetheless, uphill. I'm gonna show you how hard it is. <laughs> All right, well, we gotta get this on film then. That'll work. Or did it go in the bunk? Couldn't tell. Now you're talking, Patrick. Hey, partner's over there. Partner golf, baby. All right, we might get one. All right, there's my ball in the bunker, and here's what I got approach-wise. Got these trees hanging out. Let's see what we can do. 186ers? Yep. Grazie. Oh. Oops, sorry. Oh, you're good. Oh, I didn't see the fucking lake there. Yeah, but you went above and beyond. That's Boy Scout material. Patrick and I are calling a film. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. We have one bad hole here, Steve, and now they're already starting to call shit like this. That does it. I'm raking the, the trap the wrong way now. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, it's not a key. 331. Yep. <laughs> 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 yep. Did you hit you hit it off the toe a little, didn't you? Hey, tell him Fat 60, Perez. 60%. 60% three wood? <laughs> Fat Perez ain't got nothing on him. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, we'll tag him in that one. There she is. There she is. That's all, dude. One whole Steve. What'd you say? I said the boys are back in town. <laughs> all right. I see you. Yeah, one hole, good. One we, good hole. We see them. Yeah. They're nothing. Ah. All right, still got a putt at it, though.
Good bird. Old man Taylor's out there in the fairway. Good job. This is like, if you want to drive it, if you got to carry on. Archie Bunker. Oh, I thought he was above the bunker. All right, it's about 160 from here. Got to go up and over this lip here with this 7-iron. Let's see if I can do it. We're soon going to find out. Probably not, but... I did it. Open the face up. Didn't go very far, but... All right, here's what I got after that bunker. Shot with that 7-iron. That was kind of a scary shot for me, I'll be honest. Patrick put it tight for his birdie. All right, got about 65 yards or so. Oh, well, it's on film anyway. All right, fugly. I'd say the least, that was fugly. Well, I had the right distance. Not as fast as they usually are out here, folks. I'll just go to get out of the way. All right, so a couple holes today. Not very good golf, um, but at least I'm showcasing a beautiful golf course for everyone. Uh, Shadow Glen's a private golf course here in the Kansas City metro area. I'm doing it for a cause, I'm trying to get this information out there about how serious mental health issues are for first responders. Um, and they don't know what's happening to them is what I'm trying to get out there. Um, I know I said I'm a lot, but just trying to help as many as I can understand that the stress can take you over, can take you to a dark place, cause problems with your families. Uh, the worst is dying by suicide, and we don't want that to happen. So anyway, beautiful golf course, good or bad golf. Please watch it because you're going to see a beautiful golf course the rest of the way here. So good, good uh, made this course famous with their hole in one on hole 14. So we'll see what I can do there when I get there. All right. Love you all. Thanks. One fifty nine. Patrick birdied that hole at two in a row for him. We've had that twice today. The two peas. Two peas, baby. Yeah. Go. Two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. Yeah, just one Spanish and the other one's handsome. So. <laughs> I won't tell him. You, he'll, he'll have to see that when he watches the video. <laughs> PXG blades, folks. Gotta look at that wing, grab it. Do it. Nope. That was the club for me. Hello, folks. Is that over easy? I think that's a hard, hard egg. All right, close this down and just chunk it out. Right into that slope. Hey, I'm happy with that getting out. Now I got a hell of a rake job coming. All right, there's where I got it out to. I'm just gonna put the camera right here so you'll see it come flashing across. Oh, I tried, fellers. She grabbed it! Another catch. Got your wedge. It's one of my most picturesque holes out here at Shadow Glen. Beautiful. All right, here's my drone footage.
That's perfect because that's where you were aiming. Patrick, please don't critique me on this one. My feelings get hurt easily. <laughs> Over there with Patrick. Further left than Patrick now. I've done that most of the time. All right, right on the edge of the out of bounds. Just gonna have to punch it down here. I don't have a shot to this green. Okay, she's in the fairway. Got to hit it, Junior. Brian for par. Or birdie, birdie, birdie. Yes, sir. Very nice. Got one in the hole, how's it? One to the hole and one in it. We all going at the same time? Yes, sir. I had an expert read from my caddy there, though. Because I was reading that pretty straight. All right, that concludes front nine here at Shadow Glen with the fellas. Uh, it wasn't the greatest of golf by me, but you did see some shots from the other guys in the group. Some good golf. Started out pretty well, and then uh, triple bogey hit me on three, double bogey, and uh, that's golf though, man. Have fun out here with the guys. And that's what it's about. So anyway, thanks for watching. Tune in for part two coming soon. Shadow Glen out here. Uh, love y'all. Stay self-aware.